I will take literally any single excuse to open packs. And a brand new promo just dropped. It's called Crucible. I really don't know much about this promo at all, and I don't even care. There's a gold 99 Vince Wilfork, actually a D tackle, not a quarterback. There's a Justin Herbert, AJ Terrell, Brandon Jacobs, and Jamal Charles. I do want a new halfback on our pack and blaze squad. So Jamal Charles is the limited. There's also Whitney Merciless, also a limited. And then Brandon Jacobs, six foot four, 264. This is a massive halfback. But the reason I want the Jamal Charles, and this is something that Madden has never done, and they've been doing a ton of it this year. Dude, like X Factors aren't even X Factors anymore. They're just abilities. So this Jamal Charles has the ability first one free. It, it's dude, it's absolute chaos in Madden Ultimate Team 24. And I guess I'm here for it. I don't really have a choice. So yeah, let's go for it. So I, I think best case scenario, we pull Jamal Charles. Whitney Merciless has unstoppable force, as you can see right there. So he's obviously gonna be really good too. We just take whatever here. We gotta start out with the opportunity pack though. You get four 95 pluses. So you're guaranteed a lot of good cards. And then a 95 plus or a gold 99. Here's the thing. I need corners on my pack and play squad. So my corners are not very good. So if I got really any corner here, any corner and then Jamal Charles, that's like the dream. Ooh, that is nasty. And that's a corner. It's James Bradbury. All right, well, that's a great start. That animation is nasty. Gardner Minshew. I wonder if there's a different one for the gold 99. I guess we're gonna find out if, I mean, if we pull one here, Alex Highsmith, and then our fourth and final, that plus. That plus is looking real silent right now. All 95 pluses were all 95s. And now it's the big boy, baby. 95 plus. Oh, no, that's the cat can't be good, right? Yikes. Five straight 95 overalls. Let's look at the odds on this. So the 95 plus has a 19% chance at a 97 plus. And then this is a... Wow, I actually just got crazy unlucky. Holy shit, I got crazy unlucky. Not gonna happen again. The odds are gonna average out right here, so we're gonna be just fine. Our first 95 plus. So holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> I told you! I told you! Okay, so there's not another animation for the gold 99s, but we do get pick artist AJ Terrell, 98 speed, 99 Excel, 99 zone, 98. Ooh! I said I needed a corner. We got two. And this second opportunity back already has a gold 99. That wasn't even the 95 plus or 99. That was just, we just raw dogged that right there, which is awesome. Our third pack here, 95 plus, still a Gardner Minshew. We've got three of him now on the squad. Our fourth and final 95 plus is High Smith, and now it's 95 plus or 99. This has better odds at a 99. I don't know. James Bradbury. Well, thank God we got AJ Terrell. We would have been completely shafted if we didn't get AJ Terrell. There is a reroll too, 92 plus Crucible player. I don't know if these are gonna be as cracked. I only have enough training for like two, but we can reroll still. So let's let's see what we got. We start with Eric Stokes. Yikes. So if you get a 92, you lose 100,000 training. Make rerolls great again. I've been saying that for so long. I gotta just stop saying it. So if you get a 90, you still lose training even if you get a 95. So you basically gotta get a 97 or the limited. Or this is just not good for you. And then 92 plus here. At least we're floating. We're floating right now. We can keep re-rolling until I get another 92. So if I get another 92, we're cooked. Come on, baby. Just go big right here. Or I'll get my 92. Yeah, tough. All right, let's pick up a few of these guys. We'll have to sell them after today's episode, but I want to try these out. You've got a Madden goat, Greg Jennings, with a broken leg. The broke his fucking leg. How is he running with a broken leg? One of the greatest clips of all time. So he has a gold 99 wide receiver with jukebox. I'll take it. Justin Herbert comes with gunslinger. This is probably a pretty solid quarterback. I don't expect him to be anything crazy, but I definitely want to use him. Damn, dude, Jamal Charles must be rare. He's 1.5 mil. He's either rare or he's really good because 1.5 mil is very expensive for a limited right now. Most limiteds are not that expensive. So Jamal Charles, obviously he's got 99 speed, 99 excel. He's an absolute demon. He gets first one free for free on the card, which is gross. And then he also has charge up. What? Wait, so you can run first one free with angry runs? Ugh. That's insane. Backyard halfback, you can run acrobat, you can run human joystick, backfield master. All of these are zero AP. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna go evasive, human joystick. This is so gross. And backfield master for improved catching from the backfield. Okay, this card's officially... Uh, <laughs> I can't believe that this is where we are in Madden 24. This is so insane. To have angry runs, first one free, backfield master, human joystick evasive for one AP. Not to mention the crucible boost gives a boost to the 92.95 speed, excel, agility, strength. 
Damn. And we're in the end game, fellas. We, we've been in the end game, though, so this isn't really news to anyone. All right, let's take a look at this Herbert, though, too. We gotta get some abilities on him. So Gunslinger is essential, but he's got charge-ups, too, so we're gonna give him charge-up running gun, my absolute favorite. Does everybody just get a charge-up X-Factor now? He gets Master Tactician, too, which is Hot Rod Master paired with Playmaker, or QB Playmaker, and then probably just needs Set Feet Lead. We could call it a day. Set feet lead, master attack, gunslinger, run and gun. And he technically has one more discounted ability that we can put on, so let's use it. Give him a sideline dead eye, sure. I mean, if you're just gonna let me sneak in an ability, I'll give him sideline dead eye. Jeez, man. Justin Herbert. Dude, these crucible cards have such nasty boosts. Look at this. So James Bradbury is actually a 95, but since we have so many crucible players in the lineup, look at how much he's up to a 98. Two speed, excel, agility, four jump, four play rack, four zone. This is, those boosts are nuts. Definitely playing my favorite mode, all-star rumble. Let's see what we can do. As you guys know, I spend a lot of time online. Whether that's my phone, PC, or laptop, I'm always connected. That's why I partnered with IP Vanish to bring you guys today's video. IP Vanish is a way for me to help block any unwanted ads, malicious websites, and trackers, while at the same time keeping my browser history my business. IP Vanish is trusted by millions. They have a massive network of servers across the globe, ensuring a smooth and secure connection. It's super easy to use, just a click of a button, and it's offered for computers, mobile devices, smart TVs, and streaming devices. IP Vanish provides a safe internet connection that will protect your internet activity from any outside interferences. Now, IP Vanish works by changing your IP address, which in turn makes you more anonymous, and it gives you a greater control over your location online. That is something that is so important to me, so that's why I'm so grateful to have IP Vanish. By masking your location data, you'll be able to evade local firewalls and network blocks that may prevent you from having full control over your IP address. And right now, IP Vanish is offering a 30-day money-back guarantee on their two-year and yearly plans, which gives you plenty of time to try it out, see how you like it without any risk financially. So stop feeling like your every move is being watched online. Visit ipvanish.com forward slash MMG and download to start browsing freely with complete peace of mind. Links in the top of the description. Make sure to check it out. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'm sure you've seen this mode, but if you haven't, X Factors are always on. You start in the third quarter. That's all there is to it. It's sick. He's gonna start out with a little RPO. What are those jerseys? All right, same play this time around. This one's to Dickerson, who we know is a bit of a nightmare. All right, first and 10. Oh my gosh, is, are we just gonna spam RPOs all over? This guy's only ran stretch alert bubbles. All right, second and four. Is this a, this doesn't look like a stretch bubble. It actually was a stretch bubble. Oh gosh, Dickerson. <laughs> Dude, he just ran his 18th straight stretch bubble and somehow he fumbled on it. I don't even know what happened. Look at this. He <laughs> beamed me in the face. All right, well, it's first and 10 and it's our ball. I want to go deep, but I feel like that's probably a little stupid. Let's go. Great debut, Herbert. Great debut. All right, we got to get Jamal Charles cooking, bro. We did not get this Jamal Charles to not use him. He breaks. He's supposed to break so many tackles and he starts out there with a broken tackle. But that's a lot of big boys and a lot of pursuit angles. Third and nine. Um, yeah, third and nine here. How are we picking this up? I'm going to my big boy! And a knockout. Ugh. Zone KOs might be one of the worst things they've added this year, bro. You can't throw the damn ball anymore. I mean, you can, but it's so annoying to throw to an open guy, but then somebody arrives and just instantly pops that thing out. Like, I feel like this is open. Oh, it is. It actually is. No zone KOs this time, baby. First and 10. That was scary. I need Jamal Charles to cook. That is my goal for this episode. Ooh. Ooh. That's exactly what he was built for. What do we got? We're going to check this one down to Ed Too Tall Jones. There's a flag. What's the flag? I hope that's roughing the passer. I hope I didn't do something. It's illegal contact. We declined because we got so many yards. Also, I apologize, guys. Every time a play is over, for some reason, it's like flickering. I don't know what's going on. Oh, Herbert. Herbert, step up. Oh, I got rocked. I almost got rocked into the end zone, but not quite. We're going to single back dive up the middle. We got a double team right here, and let's just see if we can get there. I'm actually really nervous. Let's go. Oh, dude, I literally just tossed a double team on him. Why is he... All right, I said the double team again. They don't double team him, but it, I guess it didn't matter. 
All right, two-point conversion. We're going to the edge with Jamal. Hey! Yeah, there's too many bodies. Too many bodies. Dude, this, my opponent is actually going to run stretch alert bubble every single play. Yep, he's going to do it every single play. Oh, this is fatherless behaviors right here. Oh, he's actually passing. That's new. I think my Rain Ninja key has Avalanche. I kind of got to, like, light him up. I feel like that might help. Here's two-minute warning. Just a handoff. He breaks the first tackle because it's Eric Dickerson. And he somehow got seven yards up. Oh, my God. He's got to get in the end zone, though. He has no timeouts. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll make this work. So, he goes stretch alert bubble here. No, he just goes right up the middle. He's not going to get much on this, though. Much of anything. Second and ten. He's got to fight against the clock here. He actually does. He's got to get in the end zone. Let's see what he's got here. Stretch alert bubble, maybe. An actual pass play. I don't know. Second and ten. A lot of audibles. I don't know how he got away from that. Get home. Damn, we almost had a blitzer on him too, but he just kind of scrambled around it. This might be something similar. I don't know what this is. Stretch alert bubble? No. Goes right back to the halfback. He's not in the end zone. It's first and goal. I'm run committing middle. Oh, no. You're actually shitting me. That was such an easy tackle. You had him. Eric Dickerson, everyone. Yeah, honestly, don't play Madden anymore, man. It's too late for this game. I just ran commit left, and he just walked the ball in on the left side. That's absolutely insane. This guy has ran stretch alert bubble the entire game. Successfully. Fatherless activities. Is that a Jamal Charles touchdown? <laughs> that is a nasty way to start the game. Also, what is with this screen flicker? Watch, every single time I call a play, there's a black screen flick. Look at that. What is that? Is that me? Is that Madden? Too tall Jones. Good ball, Herbert. Very good ball, Herbert. Uncatchable two yard hitch. I'm impressed. He's gonna go to his hat back as well, but we get the tackle, nice work. He's gonna go play action, Johnny Manziel here. Back to Bo, good defense. Fourth and eight. Johnny football on fourth and eight. And I, he can't fumble because of Truz. Nice play. We'll hand off here to Bo. Oh gosh, please stop, please stop, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's horrifying every time. Does he pass to Bo? He loves that pass. I gotta go low. It's like the only way to tackle that guy. I think it's a run. Oh, it's not. It's gonna take off with Johnny. Second and two. He's gonna stay no huddle. I'm blitzing, blitzing, blitzing. And then I'm on Melifonu to guard Bo. Do it. Do it. Do it! Here. I'm all over that. I can't believe it didn't animate. It would've been a huge play. Oh my god. Twice? I thought I had that too. Melifonu is not there. Okay, this is a run. He's running this up the middle. Just gotta run, come in. Oh, genius. Hey, we tackled him. That's pretty big. He tried to throw that to Bo again, but it's not open that time. Can we actually get this goal line stop? I don't think he's got anything open here. Takes off with Johnny. He gets rocked. It's fourth and goal from the three. This is intense. This is a big stop. Oh my goodness. There's three guys over there. What are we doing, fellas? Nice pass. He definitely wants to get this though. This is big. Is this a handoff? Oh, wow. Basically, same thing. Got it into Randy Moss. That was clutch, dude. Fourth and three. He gets a touchdown and the two point. Yeah, you suck. Fuck it. Fuck it, we ball. We do not ball. We throw interceptions. Every game is winnable, gentlemen. Ooh, AJ Terrell. Every game is winnable. I don't know where he was throwing or why, but. All right, Jamal Charles, you're gonna close this game out for us. We're gonna pound the rock. Good blocks. Second and seven. I'm gonna run the exact same play. I like it. Ooh! That move 
was so I don't think I've ever seen that before. He did a little pirouette. <laughs> Jamal Charles taking over in this game. All right, I'm going to throw this one. Trent Williams. Oh, great user play. He completely bailed to that, made a sick play. Pretty sure people think that if you switch the ball in your hands, you can like speed boost or something. That's not real. I don't know why people still do that. This is uh, looking like it's going to be a good game though. Big time. That's, oh, it is a handoff. I really didn't think that was a real handoff. I thought it was play action. Second and six, good defense. I'm gonna send a blitz here. Throws right over the middle. Nice play. Boom! Good tackle. Second and eight, I'm going with a blitz here. Oh my God, what a throw. Johnny Mansell just did a holy shit. That was disgusting. He keeps making that's the same throw. Damn, that Johnny Mansell is legit. All right, well now I do have to score and I had to get my two point conversion, so it does matter that I got that pick too. is a is a big deal. All right, first attempt, but I mean I got to score first. Look at Jamal Charles breaks the first tackle. Yo, that was sick. Kind of want to score with no time left. Also, guys, I really apologize about this flicker. I have no idea why it's doing that. I think you guys can see that. I'm sure it's super fucking annoying. Maybe it's not. I don't know, but I'm just going to keep feeding Jamal Charles because he's cooking. Second and three. Let's just stay in no huddle and just keep making adjustments until we get in the end zone. Beauty. Fucking beauty. Big juke. Ow. Ow, that did not feel good. 24 seconds on the clock. I'm going at Tutal Jones back in the end zone if he's there. Oh, he is. Oh, but it's a... Oh, damn it. I thought that that was money. It's just out of his reach. I'm going to block Trent Williams. I feel like I need some time here. Okay, but I've got a wide open two tall Jones anyway. Who <laughs> dives in? I have to get the two point conversion though. I have to get this. What about a read option? Is that just so gross? 18 to 18. I'm about to just hand this off to Jamal Charles and pray. Oh, it's money. 20 to 18. This is a really high scoring game for this game mode. All right, 12 seconds. That's how much time we have here. Oh, get home. Please. Okay, what the fuck? What on earth is that throw? What the fuck? What ability does he have to where he can do that? His X Factor is freight train. Holy shit, dude. He's chucking no look behind the back 80 yard nukes. All right, I'm gonna give him a chance though. I'm gonna chuck one monster ball. And if he pick sixes me here, he earned the win. Big, big, big W. All right, boys, I'm gonna call it there. I know it's a short video, but dude, I gotta figure out this flicker. This thing's pissing me off. Hey, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Not the best pack opening today, but I had a fun time. I love you, boys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.